Is it possible to reverse the clock on a chronic kidney disease? Now, a simple longevity supplement called NMN, nicotinamide monocleotide, may actually hold the answer. See, according to a recent anecdotal report from one of my followers, they were able to significantly improve their kidney function from CKD stage 3B to stage 2 in just a few weeks by taking NMN. Their GFR levels increased from 38 to 62, which is freaking remarkable improvement. This is particularly noteworthy because it challenges the widely accepted belief among medical professionals and scientific literature that CKD is not reversible. While more research is needed to confirm these findings, the potential for NMN to positively impact kidney function and slow down or even reverse the progression of CKD is an exciting prospect that offers hope to those living with the chronic condition. So put longevity on the side and let's focus on the kidneys instead. See, kidney disease is a serious health condition that actually affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the kidneys are damaged and unable to filter waste products from the blood effectively. And this can lead to a buildup of toxic substances in the body, causing various complications. In a recent study published in the journal Nature Metabolism, scientists have identified a key pathway that plays a crucial role in the development of kidney disease. This study focused on a molecule called NAD, which is involved in energy metabolism and cellular signaling. And the kidneys are highly energy demanding organs. See, they require a lot of energy to perform their functions, such as filtering blood, reabsorbing nutrients, and excreting waste products. And this energy is produced by specialized structures called mitochondria, which are present in abundance in kidney cells. Mitochondria are often referred to as the powerhouse of cells because they convert nutrients into chemical energy in the form of a molecule called ATP. And this ATP is then used by the cells to carry out various processes. Now, NAD is a viral molecule that plays a key role in energy metabolism within the mitochondria. It acts as a cofactor for enzymes involved in the production of ATP. So without sufficient levels of NAD, the mitochondria cannot function optimally, leading to a disruption in energy production. In the study, the researchers found that kidney disease is associated with lower levels of NAD in the kidneys. They analyzed kidney samples from humans and mice with kidney disease and found that the levels of NAD as well as its precursors were reduced. The researchers then investigated whether supplementing with precursors of NAD could help protect the kidneys from damage. These precursors include nicotinamide riboside and nicotinamide monocleotide, which can be converted into NAD by the body. In experiments with mice, the researchers found that supplementing with NMN before inducing kidney injury helped to protect the kidneys. The mice treated with these precursors showed fewer signs of kidney damage, reduced inflammation, and improved mitochondrial function compared to untreated mice. And one of the key findings of the study was the link between NAD deficiency, mitochondrial dysfunction, and inflammation in kidney disease. So when NAD levels are low, the mitochondria becomes dysfunctional, leading to the release of mitochondrial RNA into the cell's cytoplasm. And this leaked mitochondrial RNA triggers an immune response by activating a protein called Rig-I, which is normally involved in detecting viral RNA. Now this activation leads to increased inflammation in the kidneys, further progressing the damage. And the researchers found that supplementing with NAD precursors and NMN helped to restore NAD levels, prevent mitochondrial dysfunction, and reduce the activations of Rig I, thereby reducing inflammation in the kidneys. So to better understand the concept discussed in this study, let's consider some examples and scientific facts. One, the kidneys are organs to filter your blood, removing waste and excess water, while helping maintain the proper balance of fluids and minerals. They contain millions of tiny structures called nephrons. Now each with a small cluster of blood vessels and a tubular system that selectively reabsorbs needed substances and eliminates waste. Two, 
Mitochondria are tiny structures found inside cells that act as a cell's powerhouses by producing energy. So they have their own DNA and are thought to have originated from ancient bacteria that were absorbed by early cells. 3. NAD is a helper molecule that works with enzymes to keep cells functioning properly. It plays a role in energy production, DNA repair, and cellular communication. The body can make NAD from scratch or recycle it from building blocks like NMN. Low NAD levels can actually lead to various health issues. 4. Inflammation that lasts a long time is a key feature of kidney disease and can cause more damage to the kidneys. See, many things can actually trigger inflammation in the kidneys, such as stress from harmful molecules, um, an overactive immune system, and problems with the cell's energy producing mitochondria. So when mitochondria release their RNA into the cells, it can activate the immune system and start inflammation. If this inflammation continues for too long, it can cause scarring in the kidneys, making it harder for them to work properly. By understanding the role of NAD in energy metabolism, mitochondrial function, and inflammation, researchers hope to develop potential therapeutic strategies for kidney disease. The use of NAD precursors such as NMN could potentially help restore NAD levels, improve mitochondrial function, and reduce inflammation, thereby slowing the progression of kidney disease or even preventing it altogether. Now, we know more research is required, but it does not hurt to try it ASAP, since we already witnessed one individual with amazing results, the dose intake for that person was between 1 to about 1.2 grams every morning with TMG.